Can you run Blender on a potato PC? Let's be honest, we all know what a potato PC is. That is why you clicked on this video. It is probably what you are using right now. Yes, you. We all want that new PC with the latest Nvidia graphics card. But there are various reasons why we can't achieve that. But all hope is not lost. So make sure you stick around to the end of this video. And I will show you 5 tips to apply if you have a low-end PC. Use older versions of Blender. This tip is going to piss some people off, but it's one of the most important when it comes to making Blender work on a low-end PC. If your device does not meet the minimum requirements for the latest version of Blender, most of the times the solution to this is installing an older version of the Blender software. All the versions of the Blender software can be found on the Blender website www.blender.org When you open the website, click on download. Now select previous versions. Now you will see all the Blender versions. I will advise you to try 2.8 software version before downgrading further so you don't miss out on a lot of new features in Blender. Adjust render settings. By now I know you have tried a lot of things to get the most out of your PC like making sure other background apps that may be using up your CPU and RAM in the background are closed. There are softwares like Advanced System Care that can help you close apps that may be using up your memory in the background. As an addition, you can reduce your PC display resolution. This will help you get more out of your CPU and make sure your Windows and its drivers are up to date. Now when you open up Blender software, quickly go to Edit, Preferences, System if you have a GPU, you can enable it there. It will definitely render faster than your CPU. Now, go into your render properties and change the device from CPU to GPU. If you have a GPU, I don't expect your potato PC to have. So, you should reduce your samples, set max samples to 200 for your render. Reduce the noise threshold to 0.1, same as your viewport sampling. Under lights. Turn off light tree. I will definitely avoid motion blur. You can always add that in compositing. Also consider using the denoise feature in compositing. Then in your output properties, you should render at a low resolution like 1280 by 720 Also select render region and crop to render region, especially if you are going to post it on Instagram because they will compress it during upload. The higher the resolution, the more the amount of time it will take to render out a scene in Blender. This will lead us to the third tip. You have watched this far, consider liking this video and subscribing. Lower material and model quality. If you are the type to download 8K textures, high poly models, apply more than 3 levels of subdivisions and 8K HDRI, sadly, that should not even be considered. If you have a potato PC. Please don't do that. Your PC is already going through a lot. It can't even render your display at 1080p. Why do this? I know you have already used them in your scene and your viewport is lagging. Plus, you can't start changing every single texture and model manually. Yes, there's a solution to that. In Blender, go to Render, Preferences and select Simplify. Now you can reduce the maximum subdivisions, child particles volume resolution and set a texture limit on all the textures. For the model, try using the decimate modifier and remesh modifier to reduce the number of polygons and you can export the models out compressing their size by using the glb gltf format and re-import them into your scene. Don't use a lot of lights. Yes, it is that easy. Don't use a lot of lights in your scene. I would advise you to stick to your 3 point lighting at most because the more the lights you add to your scene, the more the calculations that will take place when rendering. As a bonus tip, when duplicating objects, use Alt D instead of Shift D. With Alt D, you duplicate as an instance and this uses less of your memory. As for caustics, just forget about using light caustics in your scene. Even high end pieces take lots of time to render caustics. Now for the final tip, AI upscaling your renderings. 
Yeah, some of you hate AI, but at this point, we don't have a choice. AI is here to stay. There are a lot of AI tools online that can upscale your images and videos. If you want me to make a video on that, leave a comment below. Now, watch this next video where I show you how to win in Blender.